Okay. Okay, lay it on me, Coach K. What do you got to mastermind? Okay, so speak, just speaking of growth, right? Yes. I've got three pillars of my business. One is life coaching, Good. one is leadership strategies, and then one is legacy in the farmhouse. Um, my, my life coaching is really kind of a, the out, it's an outcome. People will come to me to get the coaching they need for either of these other two areas. But the other two areas are really, um, I feel like there's some overlap, but I can't quite figure out what the common denominator is, right? But I have this desire, this deep desire to help people bring themselves to their work environment and really show up as who they are using their talents and then capitalizing on other people's talents to you know, create strength in the culture. Um, the other pillar is like my farmhouse and legacy and bringing people to this space and creating community and um you know just there's so many ways i can go with that and i'm putting together my design team for that so it's almost like i have two separate project plans and i keep coming back to you know like is there a theme that i could something that i could weave between the two that, and, and I, you know, I feel like it's like people and being real and raw, but, and connection and all that, but it's not quite any of those. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, you know, I, maybe it's, maybe it's making a difference in the world because I think like when you bring your real raw self to your work, and then you capitalize on other people's talents. That's what, maybe that's what creates a difference. Like, you know, everybody adding value. Mm -hmm. And then when I think about the farmhouse, I mean, that's about, I just, I, I, I want to create a space where people can really come to be themselves and to learn more about themselves, but also just to give them space to, process and reflect and learn through through living yeah so yeah does that bring any thoughts up for you so do you see your because you said leadership and legacy so do you see that your um leadership um the people that you help with leadership um in the category of leadership do you see them coming to the retreat um, space to um, build their team or is it for self-discovery? Um, so I have a little bit of both. Like one okay. is, you know, I'm thinking like, I would love to have teams come in and do their workshops and their pl strategic planning. Um, and it's not a very big space right now. So that's kind of a future horizon goal is building, putting a new building up. Um, yeah you know, so that I can have more like a conference room type place okay. that could also be an activity room. Like, Hey, you know, create memories yeah. through scrapbooking and, you yeah. know, like, and storytelling, right. That could be a retreat. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah. So do you, so do you help people with their legacy or is the legacy piece like your vision of your space? Um, so I think it started as more like, this is my legacy, like finding a way to carry on my mm -hmm. legacy, but it's opening to, gosh, this could be a space that I could really help people reflect on what's their legacy. And I also think that's part of like leadership strategy, right? And I even wrote down, what's your leadership legacy? Because um, and I, you know, leadership being more, what do you want to influence in the world? Right. So it, it overlaps with for business, right? And people hear leadership and they think business, but really it's more, Hey, what's the difference you're making in the world? Yeah. So maybe that's I, what it is, is being, you know, a diff, being a difference maker. Yeah. I think, um, so to wrap this part of this up though, is like what I hear is like the legacy part, I think is a huge part of your vision and what can be infused in your leadership development. And what you're doing with your leaders is 
the, that's that's part of the infused piece of why um, people work with you is because your highlight is legacy. It's future focus. And it isn't just corporate. It is life. You are a leader of your household. You are a leader of your children, your family, your business, all of the things. And I think that legacy infused in those um, could be a focus for your vision and, and not necessarily like a separate entity, but it's infused in everything you do. It's about building a legacy of leadership. And um, in, yeah, that's what I, that's what's coming to me in this moment of like how they go together is that maybe the legacy isn't a separate part. It is infused in all of it. Yeah. It is the connection to, you know, showing up and wanting to develop leaders. It's, you know, they want to, you want to know where they want to influence their world. And um, you can infuse teaching and training about thinking about your legacy. It's almost like the legacy is the umbrella. Yeah. And then that's life, what I picture. Life leadership. And then I, but then what do I call the farmhouse? So we can come back to that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, like let's think on that. Space, maybe. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I love Thank it. You. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I love it. Thank you for asking. Mm.